Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. No advertisements to be issued in electronic and print media in Nagaland, highlighting achievements of the government at the cost of public exchequer. Screening Committee for Modal Code of Conduct, headed by Chief Secretary Nagaland, constituted. Commissioner and Secretary of Health and Family Welfare, Y. Kikedo Sema, says health is one of the most important sectors that need to be addressed. And Gifre District launches online registration of births and deaths. Now the news in today. With the announcement of schedule for the general election to Nagaland Legislative Assembly 2023, Additional Chief Electoral Officer Nagaland, Rogovito Keje, has informed that no advertisements will be issued in electronic and print media, highlighting the achievements of the government at the cost of public exchequer. In a release, it is informed that if any advertisement has already been released for telecast or broadcast or publication in the print media, it must be ensured that the telecast of such advertisements on electronic media is stopped forthwith and that no such advertisement is published in any newspapers, magazines or in any form of print media and that it should be immediately withdrawn. Therefore, all concerned are requested to strictly ensure enforcement of the Modal Code of Conduct and compliance of the Commission's instructions. In view of the enforcement of Modal Code of Conduct, MCC, a screening committee headed by Chief Secretary for proposals relating to MCC has been constituted with immediate effect. The committee includes the Chief Secretary as the Chairman, Principal Secretary Home as the Member Secretary and AHOD of a department to which the proposal relate as the Member. The committee will examine each proposal relating to permission or clarification during the period of MCC before sending it to ECI through the Chief Electoral Officer in the light of Commission's existing instructions or clarifications on matters in regard to MCC. All departments have been advised not to forward any reference or proposal relating to MCC directly to the ECR. The department concerned may submit its proposal relating to MCC, if any, to the Home Department for examination by the screening committee and further necessary action. Commissioner and Secretary Health and Family Welfare Y. Kikedo Sema has said that the population of Nagalin is less but faces many challenges due to its topographical and geographical condition. He said this today in Kohima during the one-day technical seminar on preparatory survey on Nagalin Medical College Hospital Development Project to enhance the effectiveness of the project by introducing the knowledge, technology and good practices of Japan and other states in the Department of Health and Family Welfare under Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA survey team. Sema said health is one of the most important sectors that need to be addressed. He added that with peace prevailing now in the state, a good hospital is needed for the project to have a medical college set up. Sema expressed gratitude to JICA for coming forward to help set up the 400 bedded hospital and hoped that the project would be successful in letter and spirit. Team leader JICA survey team Keiko Nagai presented on preparatory survey on Nagaland Medical College Hospital Development Project, project objective, its component, target area and concerned agencies. Online registration of births and deaths was launched at Gifre today at DC's conference hall by Gifre District Economic and Statistics Department. Speaking during the launch, Deputy Commissioner Wati Ayer said that the launch of this new system is to facilitate public access to birth and death certificates in online mode, which is more systematic and centralized. The DC further encouraged the department to publicize more on this system. District Economics and Statistics Officer Gifre Holikum Sangdam informed that the applicant or general public can access the online website at crsorgi.gov.in and log in through the general public sign-up. He informed that the certificate generated from the system has a unique registration number, QR code, barcode, and embedded facsimile 
signature of the registrar along with the imprinted state birth and death logos. Sangdam also mentioned that a computer-generated certificate is to be recognized as legal document along with certificates issued manually by registrar of birth and death. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Gohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. Minister for Agriculture and Cooperation G. Kaido Aye said that our students' conference, along with elders, communities, NGOs, and legislators, can make significant impact in the society as today's students are leaders of tomorrow. Gracing the day two of the 69th Our Students Conference, AKM, at Akoya Village yesterday, Kaido said, Naga society today is shattered and therefore urged the Naga student community to join together and cultivate togetherness, noting that unity is the Naga's only strength. Kaito emphasized that the Aung community has been at the forefront of several sectors such as education and religion and asked them to continue the growth and embrace a Christian way of life. Speaking during the conference, Nagaland Legislative Assembly Speaker Sharingan Longkama said AKM as an organization has achieved many successes and accolades since the inception of the organization. Longama further said, AKM remains a beacon of hope for preservation of cultural identity among the younger generation. Deputy Commissioner and DEO Dimapu Sachin Jaiswal has cautioned that very strict action would be initiated with show coast notice in case of any election duty lapses by any government employee serving under Dimapu district. He said this while briefing the flying squad team. The DC directed them to be in their respective areas of operation and to be vigilant 24 into 7 by working out rotation basis chart. The DC further asked all the teams to be sincere in their assigned duties with seriousness while reminding that everyone has to function according to Election Commission's guidelines or face legal action. Commissioner of Police and Magistrate Dimapu Kevi Tuto Sope has informed all arms license holders under Dimapu, Jumgedima and Newland districts to deposit their licensed arms at the nearest police station without fail on or before 10th February 2023. Meanwhile, all arms license holders under Longling district have been directed to produce arms licenses for verification at the nearest police station as per the address given in the license on or before the 31st of this month. While Deputy Commissioner and District Magistrate Zemenu, Dr. Zase Gole Chusi has informed that all licensed arms, unless exempted under the law, will be deposited at the nearest police station. In PEC, all arms license holders have been directed to deposit their arms license along with arms or weapons at the nearest police station as per the address given in the license on or before 31st of this month. Failure to comply with the order will invite prosecution of the license holder under the Arms Act 1959 and may lead to cancellation of arms license. A meeting with representative political parties was held today in Kohima at the Deputy Commissioner's office. During the meeting, the DC and DEO Shanavas C explained all the legal provisions and instructions of the Election Commission relating to expenditure and its monitoring and the consequences of failure to comply with them. The political parties were also sensitized on various ECI instructions and guidelines on MCC, EE and IT related matters by concerned nodal officers. Altogether, 10 representatives of political parties attended the meeting. And now 20 news, here are the main points again. No advertisements to be issued in electronic and print media in Nagaland, highlighting the achievements of the government at the cost of public exchequer. Screening Committee for Multiple Code of Conduct, headed by Chief Secretary Nagaland, constituted. Commission and Secretary Health and Family Welfare, Y. Kikido Sema says, health is one of the most important sectors that need to be addressed. And Gifre District launches online registration of births and deaths. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.